This method can help answer critical questions in the field of perception neuroscience, such as how time intervals are estimated by different sensory modalities. The main advantage of this technique is that it provides measurements of accuracy and reaction times, which are uh, perceptual outcomes of behavioral processes. Though this method can provide insight into human perception, it can also be applied to other animal models, such as trained non-human primates. Begin by opening the experimental software. Click on the Set Path option in the Menu tab. Then select the Add Folder button, select the Stimuli GUI folder, and press the Save button. Then click on the Close button. Open the Stimuli GUI M file using the Open option under the main menu tab. Then press F5 on the keyboard to display the GUI. Next, click on the Condition pop-up menu to select the preferred distribution of pulses. Select the desired number of pulses in the Number of Pulses pop-up menu. Next, click on the Generate IPI button to display the IPI's values at the IPI Values box and to see a plot of the resultant distribution of the pulses. Then, click on the Generate Video button and wait for the pop-up window displaying gray 4 degree circles to close. Click on the Play button to see the created V-stimulus. Finally, click on the Generate Audio button to observe a plot of the created audio and click